Hey, it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and welcome. If you're new, hi, I'm Luis Martin. My friends call me Martin, uh, and I'm an artist. I collage, among other things. I paint, I write, I do all of these things, but collage is my focus. It's the excuse. You hear the ding? It's a good thing. Um, it's the way I connect and uh, communicate with the world. So I'm here to share some collage ideas and techniques and uh, welcome. This is my studio. This is the safe space. So uh, make yourself comfortable and let's cut some paper. Uh, so if you are not new to this channel, thank you for coming back. I hope you saw our last video with Box Carlson. I had such a great conversation with this artist, curator, and just all together great guy. Um, he's an architect. Wow, right? Um, so he's an architect and he makes beautiful collages. We spoke about a show he curated for the collage dream community called Echoes of February. Very poetic. Um, and they are all collages the artist created using three or more prompts from the Februage, uh activity. I know we're still talking about Februage. It was a marathon. <laughs> we, we deserve to uh, sit on our laurels for just five minutes. But after that, back to work. September Lodge is coming. Um, so check that out. That There's a link in the description below. Very cool. And remember, always click and subscribe. Something about a bell down there. So press it and um, you'll always be alerted. Also, in the preview of this uh, video there are links so you can buy actual prints framed beautiful prints by four of the artists that fox carlson chose and they're just gorgeous so they are available for purchase anywhere in the world i believe um they're 45 dollars plus 10 dollars shipping and they are framed kind of like this one over here you see that that's what it looks like it's just beautiful i'm super impressed by it so give it a gander and let me know what you think also, uh, I got some really great feedback from that interaction from that video. And uh, one of our members, Tony T, says, I love the idea of critiquing other collage artists' pieces and getting other people's perspectives on work. I'd love to have feedback. That's awesome. Thank you, Tony. If you have any comments or any ideas, Please let us know in the comments. I read them. I try to uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Sometimes I miss them and get back to you a year later, but I will get back to you. Uh, Tony, that's great. Uh, Tony's actually the guy who came up with the idea or the suggestion of doing an art exchange. So in our collage kits for April, we did an art exchange. Thanks, Tony. Uh, but for this, yes, I plan to do more of this. And if you yourself need some one-on-one -on -one conversation or want some insight on your work, I am an art coach. So there is a link on the bottom and it is a game changer. I have worked with coaches myself. I went to art school and there's some things you just don't get from art school, right? Uh, art is a beautiful thing that doesn't just live in a vacuum in an art studio. There's more to it. So if you need some perspective, let me know I am available and I love doing it. So let's get started. Today, I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm like out of breath already. Um, I'm really excited because today I just kind of want to go back to my box. I haven't used the box in a while. What is the box? The box is my place where I collect things that are too small, too weird, too scrappy to go into a collage, but they move my soul all the same. So to me, this is kind of like an exercise in collecting joy, right? So if you are, you know, flipping through the newspaper and there's an image that stirs something in you, collect it, rip it out, put it in your pocket, and then put it in your box, and then make a collage later with it, or just put it on your wall. It will give you some inspiration. So today I am going to play with the box because if you stay inspired, you don't have to get inspired, right? Uh, so let me show you what I have. So this is my box and right off the bat, right? I have gone out of my way to just make it pretty. And these are all stickers that I've made of my collages. And um, it just excites me, right? It's like, yeah, I've done work. I I've been working. I'm not just sitting around. I, I have fun every day, if you can read that. Um, so let's open it. 
I mean, snap, print, right off the bat. See, if you put things in here that excite you, you will for all, for always, yeah, for always and forever, um, have fodder for your collages, right? And this is really important. This is a way of showing up, right? Every time you feed the box, you're kind of putting money in the bank and you're showing up for yourself. So I have a substrate and I'm just gonna start pulling things from, um, from here like see like this on its own perhaps it's not the coolest thing but maybe if we mix it look when we do this juxtaposition all of a sudden it becomes something right so again start collecting joy right so i think i see something here i like this oh look at that like see like sometimes i i'm making collages and not everything that i've cut comes into play so just put it away don't throw it away don't ever throw anything away hello um pro tip for hoarders number one right i'm kidding uh but do save the things that move you so this is beautiful this is from a yoga book so we'll use him love this like what um i made a collage and i saved this because look there's still such beautifulness around right okay this is gorgeous so i don't even have to dig that deep there's already, oh, wow, look at this. I mean, yeah, like this could have easily have gone to the trash, but I can see so much potential in this. Uh, maybe I'll use this now. Maybe just a few more things. Ooh, why not? Remember that, you guys? All right, let's see. So this is where I save things. Oh, yes. Look at all this fun stuff. Okay, I think, you know what? I think I have enough. Oh my God, this is from the Met. I love taking pictures and printing them out and, um, and see where it takes me. All right, let's go. So where do I want to start? Mm. So I found this and this is already kind of a thing, right? But you know what, let's take it to the next level. You know how much I don't like this. I consider it my friend, friend of me, but whatever, let's use them today. Oh, I just lost something. Okay, so I'm going to just start. Part of showing up is really not being too precious about things and letting yourself have a conversation with your hands um, so that the things that need to come out, come out, right? Sometimes we just hold on to things and they linger in our head, but we have no way of articulating it with words. So when you make art, when you collage, when you paint, when you draw, when you write, it is the perfect opportunity for it to come out and even provide healing, right? I'm big on healing. Um, and this is also a way of creating your own art world, right? Um, and that's really huge. I'm actually really excited, you guys. I just announced that I am opening my own salon. Uh, yes, ding, 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 ding. Um, we are opening Casa Collage Dream, which is basically my art studio, uh, but I'm opening it up to have in-person sessions, to have uh, events and invite people in. Uh, it's, it's a private salon, it's not a gallery. Uh, and, um, and I'm super excited about this because I get to create my own art world. And let me tell you, talking about healing, I was the boy that no one wanted to play with in the sandbox, right? As a kid, even as an adult, as an artist, as a collage artist, you know, people have their snobbery, which is fine, I have my own snobbery too. Uh, but when you take power and create your own space, then it's only up to you to give it value right? You don't need anybody's validation when you create your own uh, box of things that inspire you, when you create your own salon as I'm doing. So this is my space and I know what it feels like to be uninvited. So I'm opening it up. Just like these YouTubes, I'm inviting people to come in and while they are at collage at the casa, uh, they're invited to explore. There's no right or wrong. Um, and I love this idea of casa, which means house in Spanish, because when I was in Mexico, when I went to Merida, which is where my father's from, there was this notion of casa, casa this, casa that. I actually had a show at this place called Casa Casa. <laughs> 
And it's kind of like an in-between between a business and a home, if that makes sense. So it's not like all business, it's not just a store, but it's kind of an activated space for community, right? So I love that idea and I took it home and that's what we're doing, Casa Collage Dream. So go to the website and check it out. If you're in New York, um, maybe you'll wanna come be part of this. Oh, look at this. I've already created a um, interesting thing here. I love it. So this, this on its own is really cool, but come on, let's go places. So I'm really excited about that. How do you show up? How do you create your space that um, that is not vulnerable to people's validations or lack thereof, right? Please think about that because you have so much power. As artists, we have so much power that we can tap into. Um, no approval necessary from anybody, right? And I went to art school. It took me a bit to figure this out, you guys. So if you didn't go to art school, you have a leg up, believe it or not. Okay, here we go. So, you know, it's spring and flowers, you can never go wrong with flowers. If you make something ugly, just put a flower and, um, and you'll be a winner. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is cool, but why is it not working? Um, it's all muted, right? It's nice as a background, but it's all muted. So it kind of blends in and it becomes a little too muddled. Even when you're painting, you know, when you get to a point where it's all kind of brown and gray and, and there isn't any contrast. So the green looks great, but not the flowers. So that's okay. Check this out. Also, the fun thing about keeping a box of things that you've already cut, when you're tired and you don't really want to show up for yourself in the studio, if something's calling you, uh, it's the best time because normally you would have already had some stuff that's cut. So you don't have to have so much effort, right? Then it's effortless. I know, sometimes we think that good art needs to be struggled and labored. Lies, lies. <laughs> um, no, let it, let it come to you. It will come, ease, I tell you. So what else is going on in your world? If nothing's going on in your world, you might be winning already. Uh, but if you want something to go on in your world, you know, connect with other artists and see what they're doing. This is my opportunity to plug in our uh, membership at collagedream.com. It's only $10 a month. And um, it's a great way to support this channel, to support uh, these projects and um, and to keep the light on it. Casa Collage Dream. <laughs> I'm only half kidding. Uh, so... This is cute. These are these seagulls. You know, I was watching a YouTube the other day and I just learned that pigeons are kind of new, right? Like they were used in World War II or something? No, World War I as messengers. And then after that, they propagate it. And that's why there's so many damn pigeons. I had no idea. I had no idea. Um, I don't mind them though. I know people call them rats with wings, but I live in New York. There are actual rats here. Don't compare. <laughs> they don't compare at any rate. And I always, my grandma always used to say, it's good luck when birds poop on you. It's one of those things, you know, it's, it's uh, how you see it, right? Perspective. Okay, here we go. So again, you don't need to have a plan. I don't have a plan for this, but I just, my hands need to keep moving, and it's part of that idea of having a conversation with my hand and articulating things that I might not know need to have need to be articulated, right? So kind of just enjoy the process and see where your hand takes you. That's always a good thing. There I go again, sounding like Martha. That's a good thing. Okay, so here we go. So beautiful, I can't wait to go to the beach. I'm not like a beach person, like I'm not like a, let me get put on a swimsuit type of thing, but I just love the beach. One of my favorite memories as a kid, when I had no one to play with, I remember going to the beach by myself for my 16th birthday. It was rainy, it was cold for some reason in LA. And um, I was listening to Portishead and just sat uh, on the beach on a gray day listening to glory box and um i don't know 
and you know feeling my feelings but knowing that good things are on their way so here we are all right let's see oh yes i mean my friend might not even make it to this collage because look this is kind of just fun on its own i forgot to cut the background here and you don't you know you don't have to be precious if i can sell an illusion i'll try to sell an illusion uh but you don't have to be precious but sometimes it's worth it so you know pick your battles okay here we go oh i love it yes 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 very cool okay what else do I have? Okay, I have more flowers. I did have these stamps, and this, if you remember, these are from the collage kit that I did for the Peabody Essex Museum for Martin Luther King Day. Uh, we did that workshop with Aaron Marin, who's an amazing artist, and, uh, and this is part of the collage kit that I made. Are you in for a little secret? I'm working on a digital collage kit for the spring. It's a lot of work, you guys. It's a lot of work, but I am gonna do it. And um, it will be out soon, so keep an eye out for that. Okay. So this, this might be something. So why, why did I go for this? Because it's red and it's the contrast to the blue, right? So this is kind of neat. Um, but I lose a little bit of my birds here. Hmm. Again, we don't have to, ooh, yes. We don't have to be perfect. So see how this kind of becomes something really interesting? It's just a scrap, but that's kind of nice too. But I like this because it looks like a, it looks like something. Okay, we're going places, you guys, we're going places. Sometimes when you move the horizon line or the borders, push those damn borders. See what happens. You think of collaging, but we're really talking about politics here and spirituality and healing. That's how art works, my friends. Okay. So I'm going to push those borders. And put this here. Oh. Okay, so all of a sudden, this makes a little bit more sense. Why? I don't know, but it just does. Um, oh, oh, I don't like something. So there's some white peaking here, and I don't want to kill the illusion. But this is just paper. Don't worry. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, love it. And look, I got my hands dirty. I hate getting my hands dirty, but I was preparing for something. Okay, and I like how our little president back there is peeking and the birds are um, keeping him at bay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, commit to these birds. And I love how the third one is kind of not interested. I think I identify with him. He's like, I'm out of here. I don't care about this little president. Okay, cool. In the kit, I also had this. I thought this was kind of fun, right? Let's let's see what this does. So I only mentioned the whole thing that I was the kid that no one wanted to play with, just to remind you that you don't have to stay there. You don't have to stay in the sandbox. You can leave. I'm not there anymore. I'm not this hurt kid. I'm this. And somehow, somehow, this has healed me from that. So that's the only reason I mention it. So you don't have to stay in that sandbox. Create your own sandbox, damn it. And invite me to play. Nope. Okay, so let me put this present here. And then after that, is, is, is that it? I think we're done. And again, you don't have to struggle to make beautiful art, right? So I think a lot about art. I do. I love, I dream about collage, actually. Um, so a lot of times I'm already collaging in my head before I'm actually collaging. Uh, so when I show up, it kind of just that, that muscle memory, that memory of, of visualization, I guess, um, guides me. And the same thing will happen to you. So don't be afraid if you make a collage in five minutes and don't feel any less of an artist, right? Those are, those are just silly games. Okay, maybe one more thing. I had shown this that I really liked. But the color is just too muddled. Oh, that's kind of cool. But it, now it's too busy, right? You guys. Okay. Really quick, let's see what else I have here. 
Here's that collage kit. Do check out the video. Oh, stickers. All right, but this is kind of a cop out because I do it all the time. So let me try something new. It's not a cop out. It's just that I want to try something new. This isn't, it's okay. Look at this. This is a really interesting piece of paper. It's just lines, but perhaps it'll do something for me. So all of a sudden it kind of creates a window and it's reminiscent of um, the telephone lines where pigeons, our friends, the pigeons hang out, right? But what if I stretch this out? How am I going to do that, you say? All of a sudden, it's stretched out, and now it has more presence in our collage. But I'm not marrying it yet. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. I like the number. Yeah, okay. I think we have a collage, you guys. So let me, let me commit to this. And of course, I'm using our double stick tape or our double stick adhesive squares. Um, I'm a huge disciple of these. Oh, look at that. So look at this, you guys. This is a beautiful um, necklace that I got from one of my art fans here in New York, Jojo. I'll leave a description, a uh, link in the bottom because he has some great jewelry, some great necklaces, and the beads are all sourced from Africa. I mean, they're just beautiful. I'm, I'm really excited to, to be wearing one today. Okay, here we go. Great. All right. So this is my collage, you guys. Why does it work? All right. There's a certain balance to this, right? And all of a sudden, the balance is so much more visible when I added these papers. And this is a really good trick. When you have a little piece of paper, but you want to expand it or stretch it out, cut it in half or cut it into two and um, put it at different ends. Now it looks like it's connecting, right? Um, I used a bunch of scraps from my box that I already had kind of pre-curated because I knew I liked it, I knew I loved it, and uh, and it works. And I love playing with the borders. Always expand borders, you guys. Um, limitations are good, but sometimes limitations are really good to push, right? So right here, I kind of just pushed this element a little bit lower and now it goes this way and with these stamps your eyes go up so your eyes are invited to go up they're invited to go down and then these lines are inviting you to go sideways right so anytime you can uh, invite the viewer's eye to dance around your art it's always a good thing so i'm happy with this collage so show up you guys create your own environment create your own art world because that's where it's at and then don't forget to invite me uh so this is luis martin if you feel a little disconnected join us collagestream.com ten dollars a month gets you unlimited access to our community and um, videos and all this other great stuff otherwise don't worry you don't need to be part of it you're already part of it by these videos and all that fun stuff but if you do need one-on-ones, I am an art coach and I am available. They are $150 right now, uh, which is an investment, but it's game changing. And you get a collage kit too. So go to collagedream.com and um, take an adventure with us or without us, but you're good for it. So I will see you next week and uh, enjoy.